guys, welcome to Zoe's Fancy Cakes. I'm Zoe and today I'm going to show you a quick video of decorating some digestive biscuits. So we're going to start with some fondant. This one's a pale skin colour and I'm going to cut out a circle that's a similar size to my digestive biscuit. Now if you're wondering why I was too lazy to bake the biscuits, um, I actually went to the supermarket and at the moment it's quite difficult to buy baking ingredients so I had to settle for ready-made digestives rather than making my own but it's fine they work fine for this job so I've just put a small amount of royal icing onto the biscuit so that my fondant sticks to it then I want a tiny bit of black now I've actually got modeling paste rather than fondant but you can use fondant for the black as well I just had some modeling paste to hand the modeling paste is still edible I'm using my FMM face cutter to cut out two little ovals for my eyes and I'm just going to press these down onto the fondant we've already got there and then we're just going to color in some little white dots on the eyes just so it brings the eyes to life a tiny bit so these are edible pens that we're using as well I'm just going to mark a circle around each eye this is actually one of my spaces that sits on a rolling pin but anything you've got rounded shaped that's clean will do for this job and then we're just going to use a black edible pen to draw on the mouth just putting some water around the eyes putting a pink scar on his forehead with an edible pen again once that's on roll out a piece of black again fondant or modeling paste long enough that it'll go around the circle around the eyes we're just going to stick that in there so remember there's a bit of water that I put on there earlier that's going to stick this in place I'm just going to cut that off just there we'll do the same on the other eye Again, just cutting it off there. Where I cut it off, the center of the glasses will cover. Just want a tiny piece for over the nose. We're gonna bend it slightly. Again, we're gonna stick this with some water. And we're just gonna place that on so it covers the joins on each side of the glasses. Next, I'm gonna use some pink edible dust to just brush a bit of color onto the cheeks. Now, all the stuff that I'm using in the videos, I do have for sale on my website which is just zoisfancycakes.co.uk. If you're stuck and you can't find things, feel free to send me a message. Now, we don't sell the digestive biscuits. You would have to get those from the supermarket, but the fondant and things we sell on our website. So next, I'm going to use some brown. I'm using the same size cutter that we used earlier, and we're going to cut out like a crescent shape. Then from that, we're going to cut out a couple of little triangles to shape the hair a little bit more. Maybe a couple more triangles still. And then we're just going to place that on the top of my cookie or biscuit, my digestive biscuit. I'm just going to use a white pen just to add a couple of highlights to the top of his hair and then I'll use a black one just to outline sort of the bottom edge a bit more. And if you don't have the edible pens you can use um, edible food colours and paint them on instead. The pens were just a little bit easier for me to use. We do have plenty of these in stock at the moment so if anybody wants them you can order them on our website. So let's do our next one. Let's go with the same pale skin tone again for our base. Try and keep it fairly thin as well because um, not everybody likes to eat a lot of fondant. Usually children do, adults not so much so. And again, two ovals in the black. We're just going to push those in place. If they don't stick, put a tiny dab of water underneath. I'm going to repeat exactly the same with the eyes where we're drawing in some white dots. And let's just add a little bit of blush on the cheeks. Now these are fairly simple to do. They might take you more than 10 minutes to, to make, but they, they're still fairly simple to do. So this time we're gonna use orange for the hair. Again, just ready to roll fondant. Now I'm using all the fondant that's pre-colored because it saved me a bit of time um, from dyeing everything and also it stopped my hands getting as mucky and also I'm lazy on top of that. But you don't have to buy it in all the colors like what I've got. We do sell it in colors if you want it all in the colors, but if not, you can mix food colors into white fondant. So we've just gone on with orange eyebrows with our pen, a brown pen for our little freckles. Again, we're doing the same kind of thing with the hair as we did for Harry Potter, but this time in orange. So we're just gonna shape the hair, flick it out a little bit on the ends. Again, put the odd little line on with our black pen, trying to outline kind of the bottom edge, just to give a bit more shape to his hair really. And let's add a couple of highlights in the white pen again. Next, let's do the bad guy. So I'm gonna use a pale blue. Bit of royal icing on our digestive biscuit. And then we're gonna place the disc onto there. So we're gonna have the same black for two ovals for the eyes. 
this time we're going to cut each one a bit of an angle at the top so that they look angry, angry eyes this time. I'm just going to place those onto the pale blue. Still going to add our white highlight in each eye with the pen. I'm going to use a pink pen for the mouth this time. A sad mouth to go with the angry eyes. And then two little lines for the nose. Just going to try and rather than putting pink on the cheeks, I was trying to dust it around the eyes. Maybe I should have put the pink on first. You can try putting the pink on then the eyes over the top if you want. This one didn't work quite as well, I don't think, on a round cookie. He looks just like an alien, but that's okay. An alien is fine. So the next one, let's have a go at an owl. So I've got the disc that's going to go on my cookie. And then I'm using a smaller cookie cutter and kind of the fluted edge to cut out two fluted circles from. In fact, actually for the big disc, let's go for fluted on that edge as well. So we don't need the straight edge one, we'll just go for the fluted edge. I want a small oval in black this time, just one. It's going to be the beak. And then we're going to stick the smallest circle of white just above and either side of that beak. And I'm just going to go around the edges now with a bit of black edible pen. Again, remember you can get hold of these on our website. I'll try and put links below if it lets me. Um, if not, just pop over to our website to have a look. So this time I'm going to use some yellow, so roll it nice and thin. And I'm going to use the bigger oval that's on this little cutter that I've got just slightly too big so I'm just going to cut a bit off the top of each one and we're going to push those into the middle of each eye. So they look a bit like fried eggs at first and then I'm going to put a bit of a line around sort of the top and outside edge. Let's thicken it up at the outside edge a bit there. Hopefully it stops it looking a little bit less like a egg than it did before. And then we've got those smaller ovals in black again for each eye and we're just going to put them in the bottom of the yellow. And again back to those highlights that we've put in all our biscuits so far. Little line just on the nose. A beak, it's not a nose. Okay, and that's our owl done. So next one, what, who should we do next? Let's do another person. So for the people, remember we've got the pale skin tone for the background on these characters. We've got the black ovals for the eyes. This time I'm going to draw the eyebrows on and we're going to add those white dots again. Pink for the cheeks. And this time I'm going to mix a tiny bit of the leftover black and some white together for my grey. See if you can guess who I'm doing with them having grey. So we're going to cut a disc, then we're going to cut a bit off the edge of the disc, so it's more like a little crescent shape. Just going to push a point into the bottom of it. This is going to be the beard. Do you all know who it's going to be yet? So I'm going to use two ovals for the moustache, but I'm just going to pinch the end of each oval so it becomes more like a teardrop shape. And then let's just add a small piece either side, just there. Just going to add a bit of colour, so it looks like an outline on the bottom edge of the beard. Again, just using the edible pen, just a little bit of white. Now the white doesn't show up as well on pale colours, but I'm going to add some on there anyway. And let's give him his little hat. So I'm going to use some of the pale blue. Just cut a strip using my little circle cutter. Or maybe go a bit smaller. Let's stick that on there. It looks a bit like a hospital surgeon with the little blue scrubs on. And then let's add some pattern into the edge now. You can just about see the white on here, but it might go a little bit darker maybe so it shows up more for the pattern on the hat. Yeah, I'm going to use my orange to go up the top. Kind of looks a goldy colour, I think, maybe, in the film. But I don't have a gold pen. So we're going to go over with orange. And then it's got a little tassel over the top. Now, you could really make this in icing, but I'm just being lazy and I'm drawing it on. So, last one. We're going to do very similar again. So the same colour, the same base for the face where we've got the eyes pale skin tone on this one. Just going to make the eyebrows slightly different shape and arch them a little bit. This time we've got brown hair. Another beard again. So we're doing that kind of crescent shape. And then I'm just going to squeeze the shape slightly at the bottom. It's a bit uneven on that bottom edge. And then we're going to stick it onto there. Like so. Just going to try and put a little cut in for the mouth and see if we can lift this up. Stuck a little bit to my uh, skin colour underneath. Okay, for the hair, start with a big piece of brown and let's cut in some shape. It looks like a kind of Lego man's hair cut up first. Just press a bit of shaping around the edges and let's push it on just there. So you can keep changing the shape as you're putting it on, that's fine. And we're just going to put some edging on there. A bit of black on the edges and we can even add a bit of white on there too again if you want. So it's fairly simple biscuits, just using digestives, so I didn't even have to bake anything on this one. Although that wasn't on purpose, that is because I couldn't get hold of baking stuff in the supermarket. But hopefully you guys will give these a try. 
I'm hoping it's going to keep everybody that's stuck at home entertained for a little while. I'm going to try to get some more videos done as soon as possible for you guys. So remember, stay safe, have fun. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.